Larry Herb, Xbox Live's Major Nelson, down here spending the evening in San Francisco to find out more about Dead Space 3. Three brand new features I want to tell you about. We've got a whole new weapons crafting system, right on. Co-op, you and a friend are now going to go at it. And for the first time ever, Voice Connect. Steve Petusis tells us more. There's a ton of new stuff that's new in Dead Space 3. It's got an all new story. The game takes place Two months after the end of Dead Space 2, Isaac's on the run, he's trying to lay low. Next thing you know, he's off on his way to Tabalantis. One of the reasons we added co-op to Dead Space 3 was we really wanted people to get to experience Dead Space with a friend. It's just like the Dead Space you played in the past. There's no AI follower. The story's about Isaac. You do meet other characters that come in and out of scene, but they're not following you around like you might see in some other games. But if you decide to play with a friend, you then get to see John Carver, and he becomes a bigger part of the story. So he's already in the story, but now he actually is going with you on the journey. Cutscenes change, and you actually get to learn more about Carver himself. We didn't want to make it so that people felt like, well, if I don't play co-op, I won't get the whole story. You do get the whole story. You just get more detail about Carver and his story and his interactions with Isaacs. Not you. Or your obsession with Ellie is going to get in my way. You got that. It's important to us that Dead Space always has great atmosphere, uh, outstanding sound, thrills, terror, horror, and action. All those things come back to kind of what you know Dead Space is about. A really tense story that uh, has its ups and downs. Coming in too hot. And ultimately, you know, leaves players feeling that this protagonist that they're spending all this time with has flaws, has strengths and actually learn something throughout this journey. This is exactly what we've been looking for. The enemies continue to evolve in the Dead Space universe. We've added a new enemy that on the team we call the Fodder. It's almost a puzzle when you're fighting him. If you shoot off his upper limbs, he'll sprout tentacles that'll come out of the top and those will whip around and attack you. If you shoot off his lower extremities, he'll crawl on the ground and now be able to shoot projectiles at you. So it's, it's a puzzle every time you face one. You have to figure out how you want to deal with them and uh, it changes your strategy up quite a bit. We've also added a new enemy that we call the Feeder, which is this very uh, almost mummified looking necromorph that attacks in, in waves of waves of, uh, of enemies. So he'll come at you with four or five of them at a time. But they're also highly uh, reactionary to light and sound. So if you're walking near them, they might not notice you. But if you're shining your plasma cutter light around or you're making a lot of noise, you run by, they'll mob you. So one of the new features that we've been really excited about is our new weapon crafting system. It really ties back into Isaac's profession. He's an engineer. So we wanted to let players actually create their own unique weapons this time. Uh, in the previous games, you put power nodes into your weapons that kind of increase the rate of fire and the damage. But in Dead Space 3, you can actually construct your own weapons. We've created a new little scavenger bot that you can deploy that will go out and find different elements that you can use to craft your weapons or create health packs or ammunition. And uh, that little guy will go out, find stuff. So every time you go back to the bench, it's like you get a little present. Right. The scavenger bot comes back and there's a bunch of stuff and you can make new weapons or ammunition or whatever you like. Connect was something we were super excited about. Uh, the idea of allowing people to interact with the game with their voice. You could say, you know, open inventory and my inventory can come up. Uh, if you're playing co-op, it adds even more uh, possibility. I used to go give ammo and now my friend gets a piece of ammo from me and it frees you up to do even more stuff at the same time. So working with Connect's been great. With Dead Space 3, we're focusing all our efforts in our single player and our cooperative mode. Uh, we have added a lot of replayable game modes. Fans might remember a hardcore mode. Well, we've got some stuff like that, some other goodies in store for those people. And uh, we're hoping that that's really going to be a great, uh, great game for people to enjoy. Dead Space 3 comes out February 5th, 2013 on Xbox 360.